Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikita Todorov and I'm a third year medical student at the University of Tartu. In this video, I want to tell you how to get to a medical school at the University of Tartu. So, if you are interested in medical school in Estonia, so that is only one school that we have, it is in the University of Tartu and uh, we have two programs. The first one is for Estonian people, Estonian nationals, and also for English-speaking people. So the difference between those is that the Estonian program is free at the moment, and for English people, I think it costs approximately 11,000 euros per one year. So that's the difference in the fees and the second difference that I want to mention is the applying procedure, let's call it this way. So for Estonian people there are quite few options but one uh, criterion that you have to definitely like uh, complete is to hand in a Estonian test and I guess a Estonian language test sorry so you have to get pretty high score in Estonian language I think B2 category is enough so if you're getting 80 or like 90 plus percent in Estonian language exam, in B2 category, it should be okay and like that's enough to get in into medical school. Because actually Estonian language exam accounts for, I can't remember exactly, but if I'm not mistaken, for like 20% and the rest of the percentage, so 80%, uh, depends really, but there are some options. So, how to get those 80%? So, the first option is to get a very high score and to do a mathematics exam at school. Usually, like many, many, many students in Estonia, in their last year at school, they actually do this mathematics exam. And if you get high score, also it should be like 86 plus percent, something like this, uh, then you should get in. So uh, you have to get mathematics exam done, Estonian exam done, you can get in. Uh, second option is Estonian language plus uh, biology exam. Biology exam, you uh, actually take not at school so it is not kind of a levels so that's not not finals in, in at school but biology you take actually here in Tartu and actually at the university because the exam is provided actually by the university board and it also accounts for 80 percent it is in Estonian language and uh, it is quite hard uh, I actually did it and that's how I got in. So if you have questions about biology exam and if you are more into this kind of in that part of getting into medical school, so definitely let me know in the comment section below the, uh, if, if there are quite many people or even if there is one, I think I'll do this uh, another, another video about like more specifically biology exam how I prepared for that and so the third option is you do Estonian language and chemistry exam. Chemistry exam is also you take here in Tartu and also by University of Tartu uh, this exam is provided. So biology exam and chemistry exam uh, they, they take place probably in July the beginning of July probably every year so once in the year 
you don't have any other options so only once in the year you have this possibility to take this exam and if you get very good results you get into medical school if not and you don't have backup options as mathematics uh, then yeah you don't get in and also that I want to say that um, you can't do chemistry and biology exams at the same time because they are actually happening at the same time here at Tartu so probably like for example on the 3rd of July this year I don't know the dates are not like the right ones probably but as for example so at the same day they're happening and actually you don't have time to get biology exam done and then quickly like chemistry exam because you actually apply for one exam and one they ha they have like, actually absolutely the same time frames and the same time start start of the time and the end of the time uh, the end of exam start of exam so yeah they start basically at the same time uh, so that is quite sad but at the same time, you can take mathematics if you're from Estonia and you're actually a student at school and you're finishing this year. So I would advise, of course, take mathematics exam. And if you don't succeed, because mathematics exam in Estonia are happening in May and the results are in June. So you have actually some time to prepare for a biology exam or chemistry exam if you if you get quite like low results in mathematics so that is kind of a very nice backup um, idea so that's for Estonian speaking people and yeah also for Russian people who speak Estonian that is quite usual pathway that that the students get through in Estonia to the medical school and so the second part is English speaking people and they actually get to Estonia from many different countries I know some on our course actually there are from Turkey uh, also from uh, Finland maybe from India even but I'm not sure but like from Iceland even I heard so from quite quite a few places and uh, it is expensive but at the same time it is a good opportunity to get a degree in Europe and after that to work in Europe or maybe to go back to your country which is also in Europe and then you can work but to get in uh, there is um, a biology exam which is called uh, biology SAT test I think that is an American test I also was doing that in London actually because probably there is no option to do that in Estonia but also it's like not only in the UK but it's in the America and like I think many many other countries so just google uh, biology sat test exam or something like that and so that's the exam which accounts for biology like proper exam which we have also here in Estonia these exams are very very different um, but uh, they allow you to get into medical school which is the most important thing I guess so uh, and actually yeah uh, biology exam and I'm not sure but probably you might to prove your English language skills but they are not so rough and if you google the University of Tartu Medical School you also get this criteria for getting actually into the school so this biology exam SAT test maybe actually also chemistry sat exam test I'm not sure but biology is for sure and also this English language exam I don't know maybe it's not required also I think it depends on your country if you are in US or UK uh, 
obviously you don't need to prove your English skills apart maybe from GCSEs or something like that but yeah Google that I'm not sure so basically that is that is everything you need to know to get into medical school you can Google some bits of course but that that's are the most uh, most probably useful and like mostly used uh, ideas that people use to get into medical school here at the University of Tartu. And I want to thank you actually for watching this video. I hope you like this. Uh, if you have questions, please comment. Uh, I'll try to answer as well. And yeah, as I said, maybe I'll even make another video on uh, this topic, but more specifically on any part that you guys will be interested in. Okay, thanks and we'll see you in the next video.